What's up everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to take the idea of chicken parm and I'm gonna stuff it inside of a tortilla, effectively making a chicken parm burrito. Then I'm gonna coat the entire thing in Italian breadcrumbs and deep fry it, making a deep fried chicken parm burrito, AKA a chicken parm chimichanga. Let's get on with the recipe. Before I get into the recipe, let me explain this. At first we're making a burrito. Then I'm taking that burrito and I'm turning it into a chimichanga. So essentially, in this video, you're getting two recipes in one. And that's all good and everything, but it all starts with frying the chicken. Now for this fried chicken, I'm taking a already mastered and already delicious chicken tender recipe. I'm cutting up the chicken into little nuggets and I'm making chicken nuggets. Now the difference between this chicken nugget recipe and my classic chicken tender recipe is that I'm making it more of an Italian style flavor profile. That's why I'm adding things like marinara to the wet dredge and Italian seasoning to the dry dredge. But flavor profiles aside, if there's one thing that you need to know when making fried chicken is it's all about the dry dredge. You gotta make that stuff stick. So double dredging is definitely necessary. And as you can see by this move, I'm actually pressing the dry dredge into each nugget. And you know, people often ask me, what kind of oil do you use when you deep fry? Now for me, I use vegetable oil, but you could use any high smoking point oil you want. For example, if you don't have a peanut allergy and you're serving this to people that don't have a peanut allergy, you could use peanut oil in place of vegetable oil. The trick to making pasta is to season the water with a lot of salt. That way you'll season each noodle individually. I'm using little mini rigatonis, but if you're recreating this, you could use any pasta you want. Just make sure to save at least a cup of that pasta water for the sauce. Now the sauce factor in this recipe isn't that important. However, the sauce sticking to the pasta is very important. And that's where I introduced the actual pasta water. You see, pasta water possesses starch, and starch mixed with all the goodness inside this frying pan makes the sauce stick to each individual pasta noodle. And this here pasta mixed with marinara and a little bit of parsley equals perfection. This is an extra large flour tortilla. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of mozzarella and then throw it in the microwave so that I can melt the mozzarella. Yeah, the mozzarella cheese is part of the recipe, but it's also part of the burrito construction. The cheese will help the pasta and the chicken stick to the center of this burrito so that everything stays into place. And this move, adding more pasta on top of the fried chicken, I do that so when I roll the burrito, there's actually pasta moving 360 degrees throughout the entire interior. The next step to making this burrito complete is melting butter, adding pasta, parsley and garlic. Now this is the flavor profiles of your classic garlic bread. Now you're gonna paint this butter mixture over the entire burrito and pan fry it. Remember at the beginning when I said you're getting a burrito and a chimichanga? Well after painting and pan frying this, that's your burrito. The trick to pan frying any burrito is starting with the seam side down. That way the heat will fuse both sides of the tortilla together and it won't fall apart. This is where the chimichanga begins. Italian breadcrumbs meets Parmesan cheese. Eggs meets water. Both of these things meets an already garlic breadified chicken parm burrito. And don't get it twisted. Remember I was talking about double dredging everything you deep fry? Yeah, this is no different. So once you bread it once, put it back in the egg wash and then back in the Parmesan and Italian breadcrumb mix, then it's off to the deep fryer. Do you know the definition of glory? Because in this video with this recipe, this is glorious. This, my friends, is the gloriousness that we have in front of us. A chicken parm burrito, AKA a chicken parm chimichanga. But like always, what's the point of me presenting this to you if I can't taste it and explain this taste explosion? All right, let's, let's break this flavor explosion down because I mean, I don't even know if I could talk, my mouth is watering so much. First off, you get an incredible texture with the Italian breadcrumbs fried exterior. It's got so much crunch. And then as soon as you bite into it, you feel the mozzarella on the interior holding all the pasta and fried chicken in. It's like a crispy, soft, soft, crispy kind of experience. Then you see inside here, check this out, you see that? inside the chimichanga, inside the rigatoni, you get sauce. It's like a package of flavor every bite. And then once you, you got through all of that, 
then you hit the chicken on the inside, which I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of the way I fry chicken. I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you get to try it one day at home. You can check out the link in the description down below or you can hit up recipechampions.com where I publish at least a recipe every single week. I have a lot of chicken parm burritos, AKA chicken parm chimichangas left to eat. See you later, bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to become a recipe champion in your own home, head over to recipechampions.com for all my published recipes. You can learn how to make crazy things like Fruity Pebbles cheesecakes or even an Eggs Benedict burrito. Go check it out and learn how to turn yourself into a recipe champion.